Steve, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play, Tractor Boys Plow Into The Top. Thank you to everybody who watched and liked last episode. If you can continue to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, that would be absolutely fantastic. So let's get on to the episode. So last episode, you were here for Plymouth and Forest Green. We have since played Portsmouth at home and lost 3-1 with Judge Gian on the score sheet. Burton at home and won 2-1 with Para and Lancaster getting on the score sheet there. We then went away to Peterborough and drew 1-1 with Troy Para getting on the score sheet. But let's not kid ourselves. We all know why we're here today, and that's for the Man City game. We've got our press conference. I thought we might as well start with this. That would be good fun. We'll start the press conference. We have... Some people have labelled your team as potential giant killers against Man City. Are you confident of pulling off the upset? Now, me personally, I'm not confident at all. Um, I wouldn't, but uh, we'll get, <laughs> Man City are a good team, but I always bag my lads to do well. That's what I'm going to do. So far, four teams have tried and failed to beat you. Will your current opponents be another victim? Yeah, we're going to kill them. No, I'm joking. <laughs> We're probably not going to win, let's be honest. Uh, we've been sharp in training, and I think the lads are com in, a, in a confident mood. Yeah. Your Ipswich team have done better than some people had expected to reach this stage of the Cabarro Cup ahead of your clash with Manchester City. How much further do you think you can go? We can go all the way and win it. I'm joking. Um... I don't see why we can't go all the way. Every team that reached this stage has a chance of coming out on top. We, we're we in that discussion without a doubt. I would rather concentrate on preparing for the match rather than talking about this. Yeah, I'm going to go with that a little bit neutral. Caden Jackson appears to be struggling for fitness due to the current fixture congestion. Do you have any plans to rest him for this fixture? Well, he wasn't even going to figure in this fixture, so I'm not prepared to discuss that go away. Traore's recent arrival seems to have a positive impact on the squad's morale. With everyone seemingly happier and more together since he signed, can you speak a little bit about that? Yeah, type of personality that everyone gravitate towards. I'm pretty sure I already spoke about this. The public will want to hear a proper answer from you about Caden Jackson. Oh my God. There we go, just go away. How are things between you and the chairman? Nah, not too bad. And that's it. Lovely. Thank you very much. Let's get into the game. And here we are with the team sheet for today's game. Going to play cautiously, but we are starting with Holly in goal. Traore, Chambers, Wolferton and Matheson leading up the, the back line there. Hawes and Bishop as the centre two pairing with Harrop in the advanced playmaker role. Bennett and Lancaster on the wings and Norwood up front. Right. Okay. Um, I'm expecting that. A win, no. With the underdogs, no pressure. You know what I mean? Let's just, just go out there and have some fun, I suppose. So we have a ton of interview, Xbox FM players. Something new for you. You come into this one having struggled a little of late whilst your opponents are riding the crest of a wave. Do you anticipate another bad day at the office today? Well, we are playing Manchester City after all. I mean, what do you expect me to do? You know, I'm not I'm not a magician. I can't make things just happen. It's going to be a hard result, but my players are always up for a challenge and we're looking forward to it. What are the thoughts on Luke Wolferdon being linked with Huddersfield? We ain't going anywhere because he's my player. So we're not going and we're not letting him go. He's just too good. And that's it. That was that was it for the tunnel wouldn't it be? That was pretty short. Right, let's get on with today's game. And it begins. Let's go. Look at their team. So here we are, 18 minutes in, 20 minutes in, still no highlight. Oh, first highlight of the game. De Bruyne from Manchester City and Rufin <laughs> off the crossbar. We get it clear, though. Foden picking it up. And that's the end of the highlight. Whew, thank God. You can clearly see that, obviously, Manchester City are all over me. De Bruyne, Ruben, Stones. It's, it's, it's an absolute mess in the box here. Come on, fellas. Let's encourage them. Cleared the corner. Lancaster getting the ball. Running with it now. Go on, Lancaster. And it's... Oh, dirty ref. Dirty. Send him off. Ah, oh, He didn't even get a yellow card. 
De Bruyne for Manchester United. Fernando. Even though it's Fernandinho. Zichenko. Out. I see a good lad. De Bruyne. Stones. They're just going to control everything. There's nothing I can do. I mean, they got Carson in goal. Maybe I can poach a goal. Who knows? Let's go. Stones. Foden. Sushenko. Uh, Ferran. Foden's got the goal. Ugh. Oh, well, what I? I mean, I, I can't do anything. There's not much I can do. I'm going to go attacking, obviously, now that we're losing. We might as well. We've got nothing. We have nothing to lose. Uh, encourage the team again, because they, you know. Norwood loses the ball there. Foden on for Man City, for Ryan. Out to Sashenko. Sashenko whipping it in. Chambers getting it clear. Well done, Chambers. What's going on here? What's going on here? Checking for a penalty review. They got a penalty? What? For what? For four? Must have been a handball or something. That's the only thing I can think of was a handball. But De Bruyne slots that away. Of course he does. 2-0 to Manchester City. To the dressing room. There's not really much I can say. You know what I mean? Just unlucky boys. That's all I can really say. It's just unlucky boys. What else am I going to say to them? We'll get whores off. Where's uh, Dizelle? There he is. Um, we'll get Norwood off for Parrot. Then I've just gone 3-0 up. Foden with another goal. And we'll take Chambers off. For McGuinness. Just let it go. That's all I can do. And 62 minutes. Doesn't look like there's going to be much more in terms of highlights. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. Mares. And De Bruyne, 4 now. Oh, my God. Right. This is just not anything I can really do. I'm just going to let it play out. Just let it go, and we're out of the cup. We got this far, though. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really pleased with how far we got into the with this cup run to the quarterfinals. Just ended up with all teams to end up with. We ended up with Man City. Still, there we go. Full time, 4 0, to be expected. Well done, though, fellas. I'm not going to moan at him. I, I, I can't. Yeah. It's all like they seem demotivated from that. I mean, what else do you expect me to say? We have an end of game tunnel interview. Another thing that <laughs> the Xbox players don't get, unfortunately. You were expected to lose today, but no one expected a defeat of that magnitude. How will you pick yourself up after that result? It's Manchester City. I'm Ipswich Town in League One. What do you expect? Come on. We'll just do that. You know, we'll put in a decent effort, effort next time round. There was some bafflement amongst supporters that you seemingly refused to substitute Josh Harrop despite his clearly, clearly below par performance. What was your response to that? I didn't really have many choices. Everybody's dead. Uh, it's none of their business. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, let's get to the next game, shall we? Welcome back. Here we are with the game against Northampton today. This is the lineup for today's game. We have Holla, Holly, Triore, Chambers, McGuinness, Wilson leading the back line. Hawes and Downs as the middle two parent. Harrop. Again, in the advanced playmaker role, even though he did have a poor game last game. You know, I've got to play him. Everybody's knackered. Bennett's and Lancaster on the wings and Norwood up top. Unfortunately, these fixtures have been killer. Yep. 
I'm expecting to see a much better performance today, definitely. Let's get out there. Let's get on with it. North, Northampton are sitting in 23rd, I believe. So, it would be nice to... Yeah, that's 23rd. It would be nice to get a nice win here, fellas. Come on. Come on. Just demand some more. I put no pressure, didn't I? Oh, well. No pressure. Come on. <laughs> get out there and do your job. Ooh. She's not looking good. In They're in 23rd, fellas. Come on. A whole half without a single highlight. Are you joking me? Come on, fellas. This is this is poor. Lancaster, poor. Get off the get off the pitch. Norwood, poor. Get off the pitch. I ain't messing around, man. Let's go. Second half. We're sitting top of the league. Joint points for Wimbledon, 39 points. Still got a game in hand over everybody apart from, obviously, Charlton, but look where they are. Judge has just gone, got an injury. You joking? He can play through that, surely. Please tell me he can. I've got no one else to bring on the wings. I don't think Bennett can play on the right. Let me have a look. Where's Bennett, 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 Bennett? Bennett. Nope. You're going to have to play through that, Judgey. Yep, Dizelle can come on for Harrop. And that's it. I've done my free free thingies. Come on. Let's go very attacking. I need a goal. Oh, look, we've got a couple of invisible players. The old invisible bug is back. Ah, oh, are you joking? Are you joking right now? Are you joking me? Like, seriously, what is going on with us in the league? Let's go. Please, let's do this. You're offside, clearly. Ugh. What is going on with us, uh, miserable player? Miserable player. Chambers, come on. Chambers on the ball. Whips it up to Parrot, and it's a free kick. Send him off, Ray. So second, yes. Who won't get off? Right, we, we've got to get this done, fellas. Zell, Judge, Wilson, Downs. Oh, Bennett, Triore into Parrot. He can't get his shot off. Oh man, we're gonna lose this game, aren't we? We're going to lose this game, aren't we? I've just had an injury. To McGuinness. Um, I can't do any more substitutions. What? How can I do another substitution? Is that not... I thought... I thought I already did. I did. What's going on? Are we allowed? Uh, I have no idea what's going on here. Whatsoever. And we lost. But I'm pretty sure we had four substitutions. Judge, Dizelle, Parrot, and Kenlock. Are you allowed four in League One? Or am I just confused? So there there we have it. Another two games in the bag. Maybe not the results that we were looking for, but I hope it was still enjoyable to watch. We're still currently top in the league, thankfully enough. Joint points with Wimbledon, but we do still have a game in hand over them. I suppose the next game we will be back for will be... Let's have a look, see. It's going to be Papa John's, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll do the Papa John's Southampton game and the Peterborough game. And give us a few games to get through before the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to click that like button. Drop a comment down below subscribe and hit that notification bell to, to get notified but for my next episode. Thank you very much for joining me today. This is Bob Oldman signing off.